On today's episode of I Am Extremely Underqualified for this, we're gonna be taking out this giant offshore racing boat for my very first day of race training. Mom, if you're watching this, just go ahead and skip it. This looking through just a portal, I'm like, ah! and he's like, this one, like, ah! <laughs> but then it's I crazy. gave him one of these, and he was like, yeah. oh yeah. <laughs> Open the hatch, Jordan. Uh, I think it's safe to say I'm a little bit in over my head with this one. I am not a race boat driver. I'm not even, I don't know how I ended up here. I bought an F1 boat and a V drive drag racing boat and somehow it led into being offered to participate in a race in a massive offshore racing boat. I'm just an underwater guy. Oh, don't let the laughs fool you because I am absolutely terrified inside and rightfully so because the boats that I have driven in the past is like playing flag football, okay? This thing is the real deal. This is like going straight into the NFL. And all I've done is played a little bit of two-hand touch. <laughs> so you might be asking yourself how this whole situation happened, how we ended up with an offshore race boat, and why in the heck am I going to be trusted to pilot it? And honestly, I'm kind of curious about the same thing <laughs> this is just so much boat man what a beast you guys might remember when i bought the f1 boat and then i got the v drive boat recently the drag racing boat well there's a guy named clyde who actually has messaged me um, giving me some tips and tricks and to do's and not to do's just kind of helping us through that process he's in the racing world obviously <laughs> he's uh, obviously knows what he's doing he owns this boat and he actually showed up to our watch party when we premiered the brand new tv show search party so i got to meet clyde in person and somehow he kind of talked me into coming out and riding with him in this beast but then he took it a step further and said you know what there's actually a race in september and if you want we can go out and train on the boat and then offered to have me be his co-pilot in an actual offshore race So today's mission is to learn how to co-pilot this offshore race boat. And if all goes well today, then I might be joining Clyde in my very first offshore race, September 3rd, where we'll have a giant meetup. All you guys can come out and watch us win. Sounds easy enough. It's not like I've, you know, ever done this before or anything. So it's like, what could go wrong, you know? It's just like a quarter million dollar boat. It's had... Whew, no pressure. Oh my God, this is so much happening. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> you saw that? Yo, Clyde really hooked it up, man. He made it special. <laughs> I don't know why he put me on the driver's side, though. This is the driver's side, and that's the throttle side. And I'm on the driver's side. <laughs> oh, man. No, not you're, not, you're doing it, dude. <laughs> no, you're no, doing no, 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 no. You're driving it. No. It's, it's a I'll, dr it. I'll drive it out no, there. No, Bro, I... You're doing it. <laughs> think you're over... He, he doesn't know. He's doing it. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is the biggest boat I've ever driven is my Coast Guard boat, and the whole thing is surrounded by rubber, so you just bump into anything. This is way bigger, way more powerful, and uninsured. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my god, I'm so nervous, dude. I haven't even thought about going fast yet, and I'm just nervous trying to get out of the marina, dude. Like, this is not what I thought I was getting myself into here today. If we do end up upside down, there's two quick release pins right here if for some reason the hatch doesn't open and you guys have to jump in after us you can pull the pins pull these two out and the hatch will completely remove oh my gosh <laughs> what a beast man i'm gonna be honest i have no idea what i'm looking at but it looks so clean and shiny and huge <laughs> that it is how fast is this thing um we're in a class where we're bracketed at 85 mile an hour but the boat is capable of in the 130 mile an hour range <laughs> this is me this is the most <laughs> thing is freaking monster. Man. That's now we insane. have engine cameras in here, so when we're oh. running, I'm gonna watch the engine the whole time. Me and Jordan no are out there. Absolute beast of an engine here, and then Clyde just showed me this. We actually have little cameras in the corner, so they could see the engine while it's running, so they could see if anything's going on. Absolutely insane. And then we're actually sitting 
right over there. Oh my gosh, all right, coming in. <laughs> man gives you that fighter jet feeling i have never felt cooler in my life than this right here all right so what's what's the rundown in here first of all i gotta say the only capsule boat i have is the f1 boat uh -huh. you can't even take a deep breath in that thing right. it's like <gasps> but this is like this is a life of luxury here man yeah and we actually have uh we have blowers in here that's gonna blow cool air on us really yes. <laughs> yes. mine if you're not driving you get no air yes <laughs> uh, you know, the key to racing is to be comfortable. Right. If you're not comfortable, you're uncomfortable, and uncomfortableness, you know, ends up getting slower and slower lap times. Right. So we try to make ourselves as comfortable as possible, relaxed like as possible. I like it. So you don't fatigue. Goodness you know, me. after two hours of sitting and then an hour of literal abuse. It's a lot. This is like an ever-changing race course, and it's legit like getting in a thousand car accidents in one hour. That's how, how I can describe it. brutal in here. Yes. Brutal. And you know, it's the only race course you're ever gonna race on that you never know from hour to hour what it's gonna be, how it's gonna change. Right. Um, weather conditions, uh, setup. You know, you could go out and have a real smooth day. Your setup's good, the boat runs good. You could go out there and it could be really rough. This, your setup and how you set the boat up for that race right. could be horrible. I put glow sticks on every important item in this boat, boat in case we were to go upside down. So this is our lifeline. This okay. is our regulator. This is hooked to two separate air tanks. One tank for you, one tank for right. me. I got mine right here. On a 20 foot hose. And in, in the case that we were to go upside down, I put glow sticks on them, crack them open. So if we were upside down in the water, this will glow and we'll know where it is. I like that. I also do it on the handles of the our harness. five point harness. Okay. And I also do it on our the hatch top escape. Okay. Yes. Those Sick. three things plus your uh, two items right. are the most important thing in this boat in case of an emergency. Okay. So and can we close this really quickly? Yeah. Okay. So one thing uh, when I did my capsule training uh -huh. in the F1, I did a. Uh, I want to make sure we wow this is yeah oh, this is we're in here now we're in here. <laughs> all right no turning back so for training just in case something happens right mm -hmm. what is your start to finish when you have your shoulder harnesses over okay you're to take your regulator right slip your regulator through goes like so this. it rests here on your chest got it and i always i always purge it to make yep. sure that we got air yep. let's say yep. something happens right okay. we go upside down worst case scenario what is our steps? Our steps is first, put the regulator in your Air. mouth. Got it, boom. Lifeline, you're breathing. Yep. Second step is to put your hand on the escape hatch. Got it. While releasing yourself from your- Which is also the other glow stick. Five point harness. Got it, yes. okay. Once that is done, then you'll have to equalize the boat. It means the boat's going to semi-fill full of water. Right, okay. And we'll, our heads will more or less be at the bottom of this where right. our feet are right now. Right. And we'll then pull the hatch with the regulator still in our mouth. Yep. Exit the boat and then swim completely away from the boat because we, at that point, you know, the boat is upside down, could right. be spilling things right. and whatnot. All right. So I'm steering wheel guy and you're throttle guy. Yes. That's terrifying. Yes. But okay. You have to trust me. I, I trust you. I think you have to. Oh, you're fine. Trust me, <laughs> more than anything. So I don't know if you can see, but I'm burning up, man, burning up. We got a switch right here, and it's blowing ice cold air out of this. It's actually not ice cold air. It's, it's just air, air from the front. <laughs> it's just so hot in here that the outside better. ambient and, and, air is and, feels, and it feels better than nothing. No, it feels great. Some circulation is awesome. Okay, sick. Well, I think we've got kind of the inside figured out, other than you know driving it. But uh, I think we gotta turn this thing on, brother. Oh, that's your engine camera. Yep. Oh, that's insane. That's our engine camera and then our course that will be running. I just, sometimes I just wonder, you know, how I went from diving in the rivers and finding fishing lures to getting trusted to co-pilot an offshore racing boat. I just want to put this in perspective for you guys. This is not what I do at all. No way out now. <laughs> what up boys? 
I guess the uh, motor's on, so we gotta go, dude. It's a beast, bro. So I'm sorry about all of your eardrums, what you're about to endure, but this is one of the coolest, most unique experiences of my life, and I'm terrified. And we're about to do record numbers for me on the water, which is a big deal. And again, if this goes well, we'll see you September 3rd in our very first offshore race. And you guys are invited. You can come hang out. explain it yes. it's like overwhelming there's a lot going on the boats huge but so nimble a lot of people try to run boats like this and they have some sort of an idea but you did uh, actually very well I was <laughs> well um, thank you bro I, I'm telling you right now I was just just turning this you see how nimble it is like this is so nimble. you guys don't understand this boat's huge it's so powerful but just the smallest tweak on the steering wheel the boat just falls over into place Yo, this thing's a beast, man. Actually, you know, he did he did extremely well. I was very surprised. Um, he listened to, you know, the directions that I give him. By the way, listen was Wah! Wah! That was listen. This is what I listened to. I'm, dude, I'm like this looking through just a portal. I'm like, ah! and he's like this, I'm like, Wah! But then it's I crazy. gave him one of these and he was like, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, I've never been so scared of a sailboat, bro. It's like, I'm like, I'm like, God, there's a sailboat. He's like, I'm like, ah! It's chaos in there. Long story short, this thing's insane, but I can't imagine uh, doing an actual race in this. Well, I, I guess I can't imagine because that's the whole point. We're training. Um, I will say uh, there's a lot to get used to and this with a bunch of other boats at the same time, that's when it gets really sketchy. That's mostly what I'd be nervous about. But, you know, I'm in there. Clyde's giving me the directions. I feel confident in that, but we're also not pushing her to the limits either. Like we're, we're like taking baby steps. She's got a lot of power left. Here's where things get a little bit crazy. We're gonna go round two, but for round two, we're actually gonna get into race speed. Now you would think in a race, everybody just goes as fast as they can, but they actually have classes. So the race we're gonna be doing is gonna be locked in at 85 miles an hour. So that's the speed all of the boats are going. So it comes down to who's the best driver. We've been going around 40 to 60 mile an hour on the first run, just getting used to the boat. But right now, Clyde is on the throttle. He's gonna crank it up to the 85 mile an hour mark, which is gonna be our race speed. 
and I'm on the steering wheel. So we're pushing the boat, not to its limit, it can go over 130 miles an hour, but we're pushing the boat to actual race speed. So that's segment two of my training. I'm sure the boat can handle it, it's just can I handle it. Round two, Let's do it. top speed test. Here we go. Oh. No time to get scared now. <laughs> I've been scared, brother. <laughs> Scaredness hasn't went away, it's just fine. <laughs> Official speed run test. 85 is the number we're looking for. Camera boat, we're just gonna have you make your way more towards the pier. Real deal now. It's the real deal now. Bro, my whole body doesn't, like it doesn't feel right, dude. <laughs> my whole body just does not feel right. So mental. I mean, it's just absolutely insane. 
And this is a calm day, and we're out here by ourselves. Glad I gotta ask you, buddy. How did I do? What do you think? Very surprised. You did an excellent job. I was, uh, I was taken back. You handle it like a pro. Uh, I have to give you the fish bump. Thank like. you, bro. How you doing, buddy? Good, buddy. How you doing? Doing good. Thanks for coming out. Dude, it's Appreciate been a blast. it. What, what do you think? What do you think? You know how you said your uh, body was tingling yeah. when you were in that thing? It was tingling when you went by here, dude. <laughs> I could feel it rumbling through the bottom of this boat. <laughs> I mean, it was wild. My so goodness, it gets your man. heart pumping. Yes, bro. Uh, by the way, everyone, this is TJ. He owns Off The Wall Adventures and they actually take care of all of my scuba needs. So anytime I'm breathing bubbles underwater, it's technically their air and their gear too. <laughs> Uh-oh, boys are getting started up. Boys are getting started up. Oh gosh. Oh man. Full speed ahead, boys! Oh my gosh. Let's go! <laughs> That's a beast, dude. They're probably doing like the 50s or 60s. They're not even pushing it to 80 yet. We did 85. That's the speed for race day. 85 miles an hour. Insane. The boat handles it like it's nothing. So Corey and Clyde are headed in right now. The speedboat's right there. Absolutely insane. This is one of the craziest days ever. And I think it's only right, if Clyde still wants to do it, to have all of you guys come to the pier meet up because this is where we would be racing on september 3rd so if you guys want to see that let us know we'll have a giant meetup we'll have merch we might wrap clyde's boat it's gonna be really cool yeah we definitely lost our boy yeah look at him he's sitting on top of that thing like oh yeah all right so maybe brandon ain't gonna make it on september 3rd i can be here and you know i'll hold the steering wheel you hold the gas pedal we'll look make at this happen Clyde. That's, that's ultimate happiness for Corey right there. <laughs> oh yeah you know it is bro you know it is you seen how happy he was with the drag boat and yeah. then going from the drag boat to that, yeah, it just, you know, that's him, man. Yeah, we lost our boy. It's just us now, man. It's just us. It's just us. I'll be the other nautical bro, man. <laughs> Corey's gone forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are back on dry land. We made it safe and sound. And uh, I think I'm happy to say that I am completely addicted to boats like this. It's just insane. And I just want to give a massive thank you to Clyde. You guys don't understand how much goes to getting this boat ready to be able to do this and now that we went out he has to break this boat entirely down do all the oil changes this is not just your luxury boat this is like a race car a race boat so you have to break everything down check it rebuild it put it back together get it race day ready again and he made the whole experience so special so unique went way out of his way and didn't ask for anything from us other than he wanted to show us a good time and give us an opportunity to participate in a race with him. And he asked me to be his co-pilot. He went so far to actually take the time to put my name on the driver's side of the boat, which to me is just so special. I mean, things like this are just, they're so special, they're so unique. They, he didn't have to do any of this. And so Clyde, I know you're watching this. Thank you so, so much. And to everyone else who is watching this right now, there's no way I can repay him. And he didn't ask for any money. He didn't ask for anything. But one thing that I want to do that you guys have the power to help me with is to put as many eyes on this boat as possible. And what that does is get sponsors more interested, pay more money. So, so all of the race costs can be covered and Clyde can go to more races because I think I might be joining him September 3rd. And again, he did not ask me to do this, nor does he know, but I'm gonna put Clyde's socials linked in the description below. If you guys could drop him a follow, it will boost his socials. And again, the more eyes on the boat, the more money the sponsors pay. So if you guys wanna help Clyde get more races, secure more money for the boat and the build, then uh, just drop him a follow, it's free. And I feel like we could really have the power to surprise him and make a big difference. So he went way out of his way, so I'm hoping Maybe we can return the favor. Got Brandon some seat time in the boat, uh, you know, and it, it, it it's a lot of work to do this. You know, you have to have a team. You know, I got a, you know, my right hand person here, is Cheryl. I got my right hand uh, person, Elizabeth, my uh, future wife, and uh, it takes a group of us. There's a lot riding on this. There is. A lot of training went down today. A lot. 
Are we racing in September 3rd? I would have to say that's a, a yes. Is it a yes? Is it a yes from you? I'd say. Affirmative. But, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we're gonna race September 3rd, same P. Is that the deal? That's the deal. That's the deal. Oh <laughs> my gosh, buddy, I got tingles. All right, so. You might have some explaining to your mother to do. Yeah, mom, <laughs> hopefully she skipped this video. We're gonna go ahead and do it. I had so much fun, Clyde. Yep. You're a beauty, bro. It's just insane. Thank you so much for yep. your kindness. Yep. And I think I'm gonna be in that cockpit September 3rd, as long as nothing crazy happens until then. And we're gonna race. So we'll have a big meet up here. We'll set up all the info. And uh, Clyde, see you in the cockpit. It was an honor. Likewise. Thanks, sir. Thank you so much, dude. Absolutely. All right. I'm sorry, mom. All right, I'll catch you guys on the next adventure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. So we're doing it, huh? <laughs> you, can always, you, can, you can always edit that. <laughs> we're doing it, huh? You're doing but it. We got recordings here. You yeah. send that to me, and I'll post that on Facebook. <laughs> Cool, man. Hey, you know what? If it grows a sport and nothing more than that, it makes me happy. So Clyde's passion for offshore uh, racing. I've dedicated is, um, 20 plus years of my life. It's like no other. Yeah. It, you know, uh, it's it's something. It's in you. You know, it's it's like you doing what you do. It's in you. You know, and I tried to get away from it for 10 months, and uh, I, I literally got depressed. You know, yeah. like it's just I'm not the fastest. I'm not the richest. I struggle like everybody else. You know, and I'm like I said, I got way farther in life and doing this than I ever thought I would. It's yeah. it's all by Passion. who everybody's got me to this place. I just made it's my crew. It's Elizabeth, it's Cheryl, it's my daughter, Sean. You know, I mean, but but racks, airboat seats. I mean, they all have helped me get to where I'm Absolutely, awesome. yep. I love it, man. I love it. Well, look, if I can help you at all, grow the sport. That's what I'm here to do too, man. Yeah. I've fallen in love with this today. Seriously, <laughs> yeah. like, like really, yeah. like I mean, you gotta remember, I'm the underwater guy. Like I'm just the underwater guy. I make videos, I'm a YouTube guy, but I've stepped into this world, like tiptoed. I mean, you definitely threw me in the deep end today. <laughs> I stepped into this world and if I can help other people experience it, yep. then yeah. that's the part that I want to play. Yeah. So cool, man. Well, thank you again. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Anytime. Appreciate it. And Absolutely. thank you so much too. Absolutely. I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> She's gonna be pissed, son.